Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nalima and today we are going to make this beautiful and peaceful watercolor painting of Buddha which was originally made by Keshav Venkata Raghavan, a brilliant artist from Chennai, India. Having a painting or statue of a Buddha in your home gives peace and positivity to the environment. The Buddha himself taught that peaceful minds lead to peaceful speech and peaceful actions. So I took my first step by making this beautiful and peaceful painting of Lord Buddha and placed it in my garden area where I can easily take a look at it, do meditation, yoga or just relax my mind. So friends, do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. All the materials needed to make this beautiful Buddha painting are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them. So let's start the video now friends. For this painting, I'm going to use Brusto Artist watercolor papers. These are cold press and 25% cotton. You should always make sure to use at least 300 GSM watercolor papers. These are the special ones which I'm using for wet on wet technique. On the paper, there will be written what technique is favorable for what type of watercolor paper. Next for color, I'm going to use Camel Artist watercolors. The complete set looks like this. I have been using it from a very long time and other than that I'm going to use different watercolor brushes. This is a flat hair brush of 38 mm then one more flat hair brush few round head brush number 00, number 1 and number 5 and for color mixing I'm going to use a white acrylic palette and for drawing I definitely like to use watercolor pencils so here I'm going to use two color pencils one is skin color and the other is strawberry the name is a watercolor pencil this one is strawberry so as compared to graphite pencils when you use watercolor pencil the colors get dissolved with water and you don't get that extra unwanted lines on your painting and you're also going to need two cups of water near you few tissue wipes so let's start now friends first of all using watercolor pencils I have done my sketching part and for the hair I have used the strawberry color for the skin part I have used skin color and for cow I have used my simple graphite pencil because I just have these two colors and I wanted the skin tone and different tones to be visible while I'm coloring you can do the same sketching by viewing my reference from www.creativearthome.com now friends let's start coloring and first of all I'm going to start coloring from the base and give the first wash to the base first of all I'm going to use my flat hair brush and wet my paper area very well I'm going to use yellow and give the background a light yellow tint Using a tissue paper, I'm just removing some extra water from our base. Now for the bottom, I'm going to use a scarlet red color. I do want the bottom a little bit of pink. I'll again just smooth the color using my flat hair brush. Okay, now our first layer is done. We will let it get dry completely and then we can start our second layer. After doing the background, let's start coloring from the hair. I'm using the 746 light red color. Color the dhoti as yellow. Let's start coloring the skin now.
Now let it get dry. So friends, in the same way, I completed all the coloring part of hair, lips, eyes and did some touch up and finally, this is how beautiful our painting looks. As it is a watercolor painting, there is a no need to use a varnish but you can definitely frame it to give it a longer life and I am going to place it in my garden area in the same way as I have presented it in front of you with a few candles and all the green plants I do have. And this will be a great inspiration for me to do meditation and yoga. So friends, in the same way, you can make a Buddha painting and place it in your homes to bring peace and prosperity to your home and your lives. Friends, you can get this image to use it as a reference from my website which is www.creativearthome.com. Have a nice and peaceful day friends.